Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where we'll be showing you this exciting new update in Substance 3D Painter. This is the 3D Paths tool, and this allows us to create brush strokes directly on our model using editable curves. What's cool about this tool that's different to using the regular paintbrush tool is that we can dynamically change the brush's properties even after we've created our path. We can select a different brush, adjust the size, change the material properties, and much more. This is a completely non-destructive workflow. We use the 3D Paths tool on paint layers, either on a regular paint layer or in a mask. You can paint, erase, and smudge using the Paths tool. You'll find it located in the top left toolbar just below the eraser. The purpose of this tool is to be able to paint with curves around our mesh's geometry, so we will only need the 3D viewport for now. Just to note, this tool currently does not work with some of our tool brushes, which you can see here. This is because they are already tied to the original paint, smudge and erase tools. There are, however, some new tool brushes made especially for 3D paths that we will look at in another video. Right, let's jump into it. To start creating a path, I first make sure that I'm using a paint layer. Then I select the pen icon for the 3D path tool. I then begin clicking to add points or vertices along my path. You can see that when I begin creating my path, I now have this small dialogue in the top left of my viewport. This kind of works like a layer stack for my paths, where I can visualize them and select which one I want to work on. But more on that later. By default, the point interpolation is a smooth automatic bezier. But if I want to change it to linear, I can double click the vertex to make it a sharp corner. Another way I can do this is by selecting a vertex and clicking this icon in the top toolbar. Using this method, I can click and drag multiple points or Control or Command A to select all the points and then convert them all to corner points at the same time. The same approach can be taken if you want to delete multiple vertices at the same time. Just click and drag and then press delete on your keyboard. Currently, we cannot edit the Bezier handles, but what we can do instead is add in more vertices in between our existing ones. To do this, all we need to do is hover over an existing line and click where we want our new vertex to sit. Don't be afraid to add lots of vertices, particularly if your model has quite complex geometry. Once you're done creating your path, you can complete your path creation by pressing the escape key or the enter key. The next time you click on your object, you will then begin making a new path. You can have multiple paths on one paint layer. And as previously mentioned, we can visualize these different paths in the paths window in the top left of your 3D viewport. Here, we can right click to copy, cut, paste, duplicate, and remove paths, as well as double clicking to rename them. Now, let's take a look at the toolbar at the top. Some of these properties you will recognize from the regular brush tool, but let's talk about what's new. This first icon toggles a display of the curve and vertices overlaid on your path. You can also toggle this visual display with the Q key. This next icon opens a display window where you can adjust the way your path is visualized on your geometry. This button can reverse the direction of which your curve is being created. This can be helpful if you want to continue your path from the other side. Next is the pressure slider. This essentially adjusts the size of your brush on a per point basis. You can either adjust a single vertex or multiple at the same time. We've looked at this icon previously. This is the vertex interpolation toggle. You can close and open your curve by having an endpoint selected and clicking this. This button is the same as using the delete key. You can switch on symmetry for your paths by clicking the mirror icon, and this can be toggled for each path that you create within your layer, so you don't have to have all paths being mirrored if you don't want to. You can adjust your mirror properties with the buttons next to it. Each path has its own brush and material properties. If you want your paths to share the same material properties, 
you can use a fill layer with a black mask and then add your 3D paths to a paint layer within that mask. If you add vertices quite far apart, you may see that you lose some of the paint. To fix this, you can either put an extra vertex in the middle of these points, or adjust the projection depth in the properties panel. We hope this new feature helps accelerate your texturing workflow in Substance 3D Painter. We can't wait to see what you create.